I bought a Tesla recently and I realized that at least in Poland there are five different apps for five different charging providers and they are not cross compatible meaning that if you're looking for a specific charger you need to have all five of these apps. This is not really user friendly and of course if you're in the Tesla you can find all those charger right in the car but what if you're not in the car yet do you always need to get down to the car to find the chargers that are on the route to where you're going this is bad user experience so I decided to make my own and I'm gonna show you this process today and I asked around and I realized that a lot of the normal electric car users don't really want to calculate the kilowatts and the hours and all that time needed so there is a lot of potential for a very user-friendly app for the non-tech savvy so this is exactly what i'm gonna build and i'm gonna guide you right through it today's video is brought to you by mobin and i will show you how i use mobin to find inspiration for both the whole design flows and design elements you can browse entire flows of many complex mobile apps and learn how they handle specific problems. Which is great because you don't have to download an app that you want to research or create an account and do the payments and all that hassle. Instead, you just create a couple of collections of what you're looking for and then use that as real world inspiration, which is way better than what you can find on sites like Dribble because these are actual real products, not some candy shots that were made for clicks. And for this project, I checked out a couple of car manufacturer app just to see how they handle some of the UI elements and information on screen from apps like BMW, Tesla and Mercedes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna annotate the existing apps using my classic annotation techniques and find out what are the problems with them. First, we're gonna look at the charging app from one of the biggest gas stations and energy sector companies in Poland that's worth around 90 billion dollars. Now the color combinations are pretty jarring and some parts are pretty difficult to see. The structure and the navigation is also pretty weird because you have time and location but also pricing info in a separate place. And basically the whole information architecture makes it hard to read and hard to understand. The main benefit? Probably the cost of electricity, it's one of the lowest of all the apps. But it doesn't look very good and it's not that readable. Another app and another readability problem. Mixing gray and green is one of the worst ideas that you can make in visual design because many things on this app are barely visible. There's also pretty low contrast in many places and some parts are pretty weird, like they are a direct output from the database. It's not really formatted for humans. Some of the icons are also different styles and inconsistent. Data presentation on many of the screens is unclear and just full of information that you can't really parse without being an expert in EVs. Now this app is probably the best of all of them, but it's also a provider that's the most expensive. The structure is much clearer and I kinda like how they show the speeds of the chargers on the map. But once arriving at one of their charging locations, you have no idea how to figure out which charger is which number and which connector is which number. I usually assume it's one from the left that's the first one, but it's not always the case. The information is much nicer and the app overall is the best of them all, but it only covers one network of chargers, not all of them. And the charging experience itself, the charging screen, is pretty generic and boring. Once we figure out what are the problems with the existing apps, it's good to figure out what we want to build. What are the features that we need as users of an electric car? So I created a couple of flow diagrams and mind maps to allow me to make something for people like me that would be the perfect app for electric car owners. When sketching out my mind map, I realized that I need to mark the main issues that, that typical users can have in red and then propose some solutions for those problems in green. Instead of focusing on just location and price, I decided to look a little bit more in depth of what people need from a charger. Many people don't want to do the math with the kilowatt hours every time, so maybe let them add their car and have the app calculate specifically for that charger and that car how long will it take to charge to 100% or to 80%. 
or how much you can charge in one hour. Once this is done, we need to plan the visuals and it needs to look beautiful. We don't want to repeat the mistakes of all the other apps. So I'm gonna jump into Sketch and show you how exactly I plan to make this app beautiful while keeping it functional and very user-friendly. I started with a quick iPad sketch of a low fidelity wireframe to figure out what information do I need about each charging spot, and then I started to make high fidelity for it. My idea was clarity and being user-centered, so only displaying the information that the user needs at any given time and hiding everything else under extra menus. So if you want that deep end information, then you can just drill into a menu and find it. But for daily use, you get the essentials, but with a beautiful look and feel. I quickly sketched how I would like to see the connectors in an isometric way. Then I uploaded my sketch and the actual connector photo to ChatGPT to create those full isometric sketches, but I had to modify them slightly by hand because what AI gave me wasn't really that great. I only used one typeface here and just a couple of sizes, and for colors I focused on the green because it is associated with electricity or being green, and I also modified all the classic maps to be more minimal and white. All in all, not bad for the first version of the app because this already looks way way more friendly than all of the other apps combined. But it's not just a design. I actually vibe coded it using Bolt and I have a prototype already working and I plan to release this very soon, as soon as I manage to get through a couple of more issues that I have. As you can see, it doesn't fully resemble the design just yet, but it is a working prototype and it actually connects to the proper charging database. So I get all the locations that I need and I already added that calculation that will pick how long my car particularly will charge on that spot. So this already is more useful than most of the other apps, but I still have work to do. Also working on some of the custom animations for when it's charging, to make it more user-friendly and the ability for you to, when you pick your car, actually have a visual of that particular car in the right color right in the app. And this isn't exactly my Tesla yet, but at least it's the right color. I will publish this to the App Store very soon and will be adding new features gradually as I make them. So you need to find the problems that affect you as a person and problems that are easy for you to identify and then figure out ways to solve them. This is what designers are doing. And if we keep doing that, we're all gonna have a beautiful day.